Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to AOC Commercials here in Carrick Tool in County Cork in Ireland. And I'm here today to show you all around this Scania R560 with its V8 engine. It's a 2013 model. So we're going to have a look all around the exterior of the truck, then we'll hop inside and have a look at the interior features, and then I'll be getting hooked underneath the trailer and taking it out for a test drive. You ready for this? Let's go! Starting off with the exterior design then of the R560 top line. You'll notice there up on the roof we have the air conditioning pod and the two large air horns. And we have a different sun visor there above the windscreen fitted with uh, seven white LEDs. Uh, the matching mirrors and the blue and dark blue striping there at the side looking quite well. Uh, you'll notice as well that this is not the streamlined version. The streamlined version came later in 2013. This particular example was registered in early 2013 and you'll notice that it's not the streamlined because uh, it has these air intakes here at the front whereas the streamlined done away with these. So let's just walk in for a closer look. We don't have any xenon headlamps or LED daytime running lamps. They are just your normal bulb headlamps and indicators but uh, still looks pretty good doesn't it? And we pull down the bottom step you can gain access to your tow hooks here and pull up that top grill. I have the lever already pulled from inside the door. Now this particular example is for sale from AOC and it has almost 894,000 kilometers but there's plenty of life left in this truck yet. Some people have achieved up to 2 million kilometers if these trucks are uh, well looked after the V8s can achieve that. We have our dipstick there, top up your oil cab suspension there. Now the front suspension itself is on a parabolic A-leaf suspension and we have two airbags on the back axle. Not as comfortable as the new generation Scania's but uh, we'll see what it's like on the road and I'm just going to have a look around the passenger side and I'm going to open up that door to give you a look at this locker. Let's just uh, check that out for space. Uh, we do have one of equal size on the driver's side so they are quite spacious and we have the Scania sign on the door with the reflector we do have a textile finish on the door cards and on the seats so the leather pack wasn't picked as an option when this truck was new and we don't have any leather on the steering wheel either but still uh, quite clean on the inside AOC have done a nice job cleaning it up and we have a big diesel tank on the passenger side so 1000 litres very good and 500 litres on the driver's side 1500 litres in total so you won't be filling up uh, as often as you would on a 6x2 but here we have it in a 4x2 uh, format but uh, yeah have a little peek in at the engine there 2700 newton metres of torque from these V8s uh, 560 horsepower and we have a nice bar there keep your Susie's tidied up we have two empty boxes there for your fire extinguishers and the air conditioning pod and your full air deflector kit. Now on the streamlined versions they did extend these air deflector kits with a small rubber piece here as well going the whole way up but it's not on this version of course. Uh, that followed later with the streamlines. So walking around the rear we have the seven chamber rear lamp design and we have these additional ones that were added on later, your marker lamps and the rear box there for your batteries. Uh, we don't have any adjustable fifth wheel here and your 500 litre diesel tank, your V8 badge and 75 litre ad blue tank. Now this is a Euro 5 specification. Uh, the Euro 6 specification trucks have a bigger exhaust after treatment system that comes back to about here so you can always tell a Euro 6 from a Euro 5 just by the size of that exhaust after treatment system. Okay, I'm just going to hop inside now and give you a look at the uh, full interior. See what we have in here. Three steps going up into the cab of the R-Series. Now we don't have any exhaust button here on the floor uh, like you can get on some models, but we do have an automatic exhaust brake function on the dashboard. So when you press your brake pedal, your exhaust brake comes on automatically. And we also have the retarder as well, your five-stage retarder. Full adjustment for the driver's seat. They're also heated. And we have this handy air gun here, cleaning out your truck. And we have the rear remote for the back axle as well. So let's clip that in. And we have a warning triangle there on the back of the driver's seat. 
So just climbing aboard. Um, let's just pull that uh, fridge out and give you a look. Very good. Uh, let, actually, I'll just pull out and give you a proper look at that. Yeah, and we have the freezer as well. Uh, okay, and that is your gear stick. I just have it folded down. So we have 12 gears, so the range changer here. So three lower, three upper. Split all your gears for a total of 12. We also have a crawler gear as well. So let me just fold that back down. Now the bunk, you can lift that up. So you can gain access to your outside lockers just by lifting up that bunk. Now the bunk is extendable as well. If you uh, pull out that lever, you can extend it by a few inches. Very good. And we do have the back wall there with the remote control for your night heater. And we can also open and close the sunroof, but you can't do it on this one because it has the air conditioning pod up on the roof. But uh, yeah, we have the top bunk. Very handy for storing items with this net, but just be careful that nothing pops out here, of course. And uh, your bottom bunk, as I said. Okay, and we have the reading lamps there. And up on top, we have all the lockers above the windscreen, all with their own lamps. And also lamps all around this storage area here. And we are taco, of course. And we have a, a storage compartment here, which is lockable. There for all your bulbs. And we have even spare paper here for your taco. Very good. And having a look at the dashboard design of this Euro 5 or 560. Uh, I'm just gonna lift that up and give you a look. So we can unclip it here and give you a look at the fuse box underneath. And we have the v V8 badge there as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit into the driver's seat. Just give you a quick look at the controls. Uh, your pull-out drawer there, storage here, and all your cups there can be placed at either side. And we do have a 24 volt and 12 volt socket here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit into the driver's seat and start it up and give you guys a look. Uh, just get that gear stick up and just double check that it is in neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Start it up. Yeah. Okay. Now we do. We, we will have a V8 logo that'll pop up here shortly. Um, yeah, there is a fair a fair amount of mileage on this truck, as you can see. There we go. The V8 badge and our rev counter there. Speedo fuel tank and our engine temperature there of course this was all changed on the streamlined version that followed this uh, the layout was changed you had a bigger screen here so I'm just going to give it a couple of revs okay oh <laughs> that distinctive sound from the V8 and your electric windows and adjustment there for your mirrors we have a nice wide angle one there for the driver's side. And uh, yeah, like the visibility was very much improved on the next generation trucks uh, with a narrower pillar here, but these ones have the thick pillars. But yeah, let's go down through some of the controls. There isn't a whole lot to go through actually, but uh, your handbrake there, of course, all our air conditioning controls. Now we do have a function here. If you put it into P mode here, so we just clip that and let me just turn off that stereo there so you can actually without the ignition being turned on you can operate your fan just for getting cool air through the cab so we can knock that back off and uh, also with the stereo on these trucks as well it'll stay on for a certain amount of time and then it'll, it will turn itself off uh, I think after around an hour in these trucks and we have our panic alarm switch and we have our heated mirrors and your lamp switch there more lamp switches here for the exterior and for your instrument cluster here you can adjust the clock and adjust the brightness of your uh, instruments and we have our traction control diff lock function and over here we have our cruise control switch and our white smoke limiter and that exhaust brake automatic exhaust brake that I was talking about and we have our five stage retarder here as well so I do like them and all our functions there on the steering wheel for going down through various different menus. Actually, I'll just turn it back on and give you a look at the uh, menu here. Let me just knock that back down. I have it in auto. So yeah, let me just zoom in there quickly and just give you a look 
at the display here so if I just knock that particular display off and go down through some of our functions there so we can get a kind of a an average miles per gallon here if I move up uh, you see driving score you can see how you're doing with your driving and yeah we have 8.6 miles per gallon was achieved over the last 2763 kilometers so that's not too bad for a v8 with 560 horsepower and over on our right hand side we have the air uh, your air pressure and that will tell you what weight is on your fifth wheel and then down here we have our startup checklist warnings trip meter personal settings vehicle settings so yeah you can go down through various functions here startup checklist add blue that's okay and your distance to inspection brake linings various different items you can check on that display so yeah i think that is pretty much how it looks on the interior and the exterior i think it's time to get it hooked underneath a trailer and take it for a test drive let's go <laughs> R560 just powering up through the gearbox we're in fifth low at the moment uh, we'll give it some nice bit of power when we come out onto the main road here and give you a good sound of the engine but 560 horses 2700 Newton meters of torque so we do have good pulling power in this truck now we don't have any weight on board just an empty trailer I'm afraid that's uh, all we could get today so yeah we're going to go nice and handy here and power up through this box let's listen to the V8 You just can't beat the sound of the V8. No matter how many six cylinders you'll drive, that distinctive V8 sound, yeah, I really like it. But the manual gearbox, I mean, a lot of drivers prefer the OptiCruise. Me, I am definitely among that group. I would prefer the OptiCruise to the manual uh, because I would be doing a lot of in around city driving and of course a lot, a lot of uh, long motorway driving but I would prefer the Opti Cruise but a lot of drivers do prefer the manual they just like to have that control and of course in icy conditions as well I would prefer to have the manual but <laughs> any other time I'd prefer to have the Opti Cruise so yeah we're just at the roundabout here just uh, in Carrick Tool okay we're powering it out here out onto the dual carriageway uh, this is not a motorway, but it has a 120 kilometer limit on it. So I don't know what way that works, but that's how it is down in Cork here. So let's just uh, move out and get it up to the speed. So we're there at 80 kilometers now, and we're revving in at 1200 RPM. Uh, at 90 kilometers, you can expect to be revving in around 1300 RPM. So if you were to compare this to the Euro 6 R520, which actually has the same torque figure, um, I did test drive a Euro 6 R520 and I think it feels more powerful than this model. Um, it must be the way that the torque is delivered, but I definitely felt that it was more powerful than these particular trucks, um, especially in OptiCruise format. But yeah, you can power up through your gearbox here using the manual. You can really stretch the gears. Um, if you were in the OptiCruise gearbox, you still have manual control. You just have a button on your OptiCruise and you can go up through the gears manually. 
So, yeah, I would definitely prefer the Optic Cruise myself. So we're just gonna turn around here, go back out onto that dual carriageway and power it up and give you some more sounds of that V8 roaring. Okay. Now, speaking of six cylinder diesel engines from Scania, they recently introduced a 540 horsepower option in their 13 litre diesel engines. So we now have 370, 410, 450, 500 and, 500 and 540 in the 13 litre diesel engine lineup from Scania. And we have our four V8 engines, of course. And we have 7 litre engines and 9 litre diesel engines. Just so many options to choose from in the Scania lineup. They have an option for every application of truck. So, yeah, back up through our gearbox. We're in fifth low. Flick our splitter up into fifth high. Power it up. And listen to this, guys. It does sound good, doesn't it? Now, of course, speaking of the flagship Scania, we're still waiting for news. It's uh, a very, very long wait, guys. I've no idea. But yeah, at the moment, we're still dealing with the S730 as the flagship. So uh, we'll see in the future what's going to happen. But this particular model, I do like it. Very good um, driving position, the steering, great adjustment in that. Now of course on the next generation Scania's, the windscreen is closer to the driver and the driver sits closer to the side window here. Now we do have a, a pull down blind here as well, sunshade. And these windows are actually double glazed. Now they're not double glazed in the new generation trucks because the new generations have an acoustic laminate in the side windows. So we're just going to use our retarder to slow us down, yeah, very good and as I said already we do have the automatic function there for the uh, exhaust brake, so when I push, push the brake pedal the exhaust brake comes on automatically. So we'll just turn left here at the roundabout and make our way back to AOC. Beautiful weather today. It's about 18 degrees. Ah, an old Ford Granada there, look, from 1982. <laughs> nice. He's enjoying a, a nice uh, drive today. Now we'll just come off this roundabout and power it up again and give you some more sounds of that V8, guys. Somebody selling strawberries here on the side of the road. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so do contact AOC for more information on this truck. Uh, it is for sale. So they will be able to um, give you all the information on the price. Euro 5 specification R560. Okay, we're back from the drive. I'm just going to give it a couple of revs before we finish off. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I, I can't hoot the air horn. There's no air horn button. I don't know where it is. It's not on the dashboard anyway. So, yeah, I'm afraid we can't hoot the air horn. Now, there's just a few more trucks outside here. I just want to show you first. So let's hop out and have a look at them. And parked outside, we have two P360s still waiting for their body to be put on the back. 
So these have the 9 litre diesel engine and beside it there we have the R500 they have the 13 litre diesel engine and the G500 beside it and another P360 there as well so you can get a P370 but that would be based on the 13 litre diesel engine but these as I said have the 9 litre diesel engine so yeah that's how it looks outside the front of AOC and that's where I'm going to wrap it up today from AOC Commercials here in Carrie Tool in County Cork in Ireland. My short little test drive of the Scania R560, the used example here. So yeah, you can contact AOC for more details on pricing of this used example. And it does have above average miles for the year of the truck, so 894,000 kilometers almost. Yeah, pretty nice drive all the same. So I know a lot of you guys do like your manual gearboxes, so if you want one, there's one down here in AOC, check it out, the 560. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video, and there might be a big announcement coming in that video. There might be. <laughs> Wait until you hear this, guys. Anyway, I'll say no more. <laughs> Tune in next week. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Cheers! Um, <laughs> God. Use the R560. Give, give them. Yeah, drive. She just wants to go away. Okay, guys. <laughs>